Today we have the WVSM from Athena GTX. And as you can see here, it comes in this little drop leg pouch. Um, it's got a connector here for a belt, leg, leg attachment. You can also molly it into different things. All that good stuff. Open it up and you get a couple of zippers. The whole thing just flips open like, flakes open like that. You got one WVSM can go in here. You can put another one in here if you like. Uh, it's meant to carry two. I've only got the one. They were kind enough to let me borrow for a while to test. And as you can see here, this one is designated B4. WVSM is the designation of the device. Athena GTX is the manufacturer. And it comes with, this is a full monitoring setup. It's really pretty neat. It's got uh, pulse ox attachments here. There's a couple of them. A couple of BP cuffs, a regular and a large adult. Cardiac monitoring leads and some cardiac monitoring stickers. So this is really the full package for patient monitoring. Um, everything short of end tidal CO2 monitoring, this thing will do. It's a really powerful little unit, and the really interesting part is that it'll actually connect to an electronic device like a phone, an iPad, what have you, and you can monitor the status of different casualties all at the same time. So we'll talk about this device in a little more detail, and then I'll talk to you a little bit about the app as well. So as you can see here, I'll push the BP button. cycle of blood pressure. The big advantage to this device is really that it could be connected by Velcro to the blood pressure cuff and allow your patient to move around or be moved around without having to remove all the vital signs monitoring. There you go. Nice quick and easy blood pressure as long as you're sitting still. As you can see here it's actually attached by Velcro to the blood pressure cuff so it allows it to be really compact package for making patient movements and things like that. That's the biggest advantage to this outside of the interconnectivity, which I'll show you here in a moment. All right, so one unique feature of this device is that you have to go in and manually configure the IP address and the subnet mask. It doesn't act as its own DHCP server. Um, you can see in here where I have to adjust those settings. So just a nerd note for that. So as you can see here, I can look at trends, it will track GCS if you punch it in, you can increase those manually, hit save, GCS of 14 for example, or 15, and it'll update that for you. You can manually input temperature. 6, put in respirations, all that good stuff. Now, an interesting part, part of this, or the most probably, in my opinion, the most interesting part, as you can see, there's one WVSM linked here. If I add more, they will all populate in a live display. So if I'm doing a mass casualty event or something like that, I can really keep an eye on everything very closely. Another neat little feature is you can actually manually trigger a blood pressure from the screen. You just tap on an IBP, and as you can see, it's checking that. Uh, they do have, I mentioned this doesn't do capnography, there is a mini cap device that I'm hoping to get my hands on at some point uh, that will track your end tidal FiO, CO2, and respiration automatically. No, it's going to alarm at me because it thinks my it thinks something is off. But there we go. So you're going as you can see it pulled directly into the device here, which in this case is my iPad. I can also go to alarms. I can adjust my alarm levels. I can go into my configuration. Make it work by Bluetooth, by cable. Allow it to auto shut down. All that good stuff. Do extended mode on the ECG. We 
try the PDF creator, and that will actually create, it'll dump out um, snapshots here for you as well. You can also sort by the different color gradings. Obviously there's only one here, so it's not really gonna do anything for you, but that is an option as well. So this device has a lot of really, really cool potential for multi-casualty events or for remote monitoring. As long as you can get a Wi-Fi signal or a Bluetooth signal between you and the casualty, you'd be able to hook this patient up to the WVSM and monitor that remotely. So if you're doing a confined space or a high angle extrication, or even an extrication of a patient from a car, you can attach this all to your patient and have someone else monitor all the vital signs for you without having to try and get a even the smallest monitor. The Zoll X series is still rather bulky and you have to maneuver it around and keep it connected to the patient. The big advantage here, again, is you can monitor this remotely with Wi-Fi. So it's a pretty cool device. I'm pretty impressed with it. I'm excited to see how it integrates with the mini cap. Like I say, I'll see if I can get hands on with one of those at some point. So if you go into trends, you can add this in here and see. All right, and as you can see here, you actually can get a live ECG tracing as well. So I can hold nice and still, I'll get a nice clean tracing. If I wiggle around just like any other monitor, it'll bounce around on you and you'll lose it. But yeah, so you can get a live pleth, uh, pulse oximetry pleth, and a live ECG reading remotely. Really, really cool stuff. Very impressed.